The stereotype of artists in this country has always, I think, been bent in the wrong way, misshapen by Hollywood in regards to the artist being either, you know, a drunk or a foolish. There's never a sensible portrayal of a hardworking person who's, uh, who's expressing their passion. Uh, passion seems to be, passion and love seem to be words that are no longer applicable to our culture, which is, I think, a great shame. Well, my name is Leon Hesha, and I'm a painter, and that's the way I sign the, the slips. Vocation, painter, not artist. I have something against that, but I won't go there. I, I don't have a broad philosophical base that I can spring out of. I can say that whatever I'm working on, I take seriously. So this show is a collaboration of 16 artists and myself. I've worked with a, uh, with a number of artists from different disciplines, which include people like Bain Bulky from the Jungle Theater, uh, Tom Arndt, a photographer, Garrison Keillor, a humorist, Connie Mayron, a ceramicist, Paul Oxborough, of course, figure painter, uh, David Salee, Don Garr, who's a sculptor, and a painter, uh, Nancy Carlson, who did, uh, who does children books, il illustrations, Eric Rechtenwald, Gregory Bitts. Am I missing anybody? So uh, the list really is is large and rich, with talent and skill, and and people who who are serious about what they do in this community. I think the energy and the excitement that uh, the show produced was very reminiscent of a different time in Minneapolis. And I think this reproduced some of that, some of that energy and some of that excitement and some of that, the knowledge that this is a need and not, not just, uh, people look at it as a luxury. Well, they're wrong. When people talk about art being a luxury, they're wrong. Art is a necessity to life and living. I think, I think the real necessity is to examine truth. And that's what art brings to the community. In, in the case of the show, uh, people didn't ignore it, they participated, they, they enjoyed it, and they went home thinking about it. And, and I, think, I think it's a good thing, I think it's a positive thing. I, I hope there's more things like it in the future here in our, in our beloved Twin Cities. Minnesota Original is made possible by the Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the Citizens of Minnesota. Thank you.